Welcome everyone to Global One Media's Stocks to Watch series, a platform to help investors make informed decisions. I'm your host, Ashley Berry, and today, Trevor Boyd, geologist and vice president of exploration at Canadian North Resources is joining us. What a pleasure to have you here with us, a company focused on critical metals for industries, including clean energy, electric vehicles, battery, and high tech. They're listed on the TSXV as CNRI and the Frankfurt Stock Exchange, under the trading symbol EO0. Trevor, welcome. Thank, thank you, Ashley. Thank you for having, having me. Always a pleasure. You know, one of your big projects, Ferguson Lake. Uh, tell us what makes it so attractive from your point of view as an experienced geologist. Um, Ferguson Lake is a, is a late stage exploration project with uh, nickel, copper, cobalt, palladium, and platinum. It is a large, near surface exploration project uh, with, with large tonnage. And because of this, it is also uh, situated in a very stable government regulatory environment. So all these features together make it uh, one, of the, one of the most uh, interesting uh, uh, pro projects of this type in North America, at least. And I would say absolutely some great results coming out of there. Uh, you recently released some assay results. You completed your diamond drilling program, which covered more than 21,000 meters or nearly 70,000 feet. And those assay results come from the more than two dozen remaining holes drilled during the summer. Can you share some highlights about that? Uh, the main highlight is from the West Zone extension, which we I, we've, I think we've talked about previous. Basically, it it, we had some uh, last remaining holes. We we were intersecting that mineralized zone at, at thicknesses of greater than 110 meters, and so it shows that the zone is widening to the west at depths that still at depths at less than 400 meters, and remains open, uh, continuing along strike and down dip. It is also uh, the, the host rock, which uh, carries this, this, this mineralization, was found, is, has been found to widen to almost 500 meters. So this bodes well for a, a continued uh, uh, interesting increase in the size of the, ton, of the potential tonnage of this deposit in that direction. Certainly, and and the assay results. Um, are you able to share a little bit more specifics about about what actually came out of that? Um, for oh yes, the assay results. Uh, we're looking at, uh, like I said, over 110 meters thickness of about point point one six percent copper, nickel, uh, point two three percent copper, uh, cobalt, about point three five grams per ton palladium, and about point zero six grams per ton platinum, plus some rhodium numbers as well. So. Okay. Uh, that's just some of the some of the results uh, at shallow depths. This is actually very exciting. It certainly sounds it. You're also testing uh, for the newly defined M zone, among other key highlights. Can you speak to what this all means? Yes, the M zone is exciting as well because uh, that and what's called the A51 zone is to the south. It's a separate. These are two separate zones to the south of the main mineralized horizon, which hosts the west zone and the east zone. This, these new zones here uh, represent uh, uh, a real blue sky potential for the project because they are basically a repetition of that main mineralized zone, which is 15 kilometers long, to, to the south, trending parallel to what we believe is interpreted to be up to 12 kilometers in length in, in strike. So um, we the, the repeated uh, uh, resort intersections of greater than three meters at, at or grade uh, values um, represents the, uh, a, a chance to exponentially increase this resource again on another fashion. Fantastic. It certainly sounds very optimistic for Canadian North Resources. Uh, what are the next steps at the Ferguson Lake property and can you give us any idea about a timeline? As we finished our this year's drilling in October this year, uh, we've released the final results in November, which we've just discussed. Mm -hmm. um, we've also completed in the last two and a half years over 39,270 meters of drilling and over 145 holes. The results of this is being in put it into our, our resource and uh, uh, deposit database. 
with this database, we have uh, um, contracted uh, SRK Consulting to complete a updated resource estimation and independent 43-101 report. This report and this, these, this new resource will be filed in, 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 in Q1 2024 and it'll be available publicly. So uh, this is uh, a, what we believe a quantitative measure of the progress that we have made in the last three years. And Trevor, I would say just within the last year, I don't know how you sleep because you have so many projects underway, all of more than a hundred holes. I mean, that's that's pretty amazing, especially for you as a geologist. Um, can you share with investors the commercial potential of the Ferguson Lake property and why now is the right time to establish exposure to base metals and platinum group metals through this project? Yes, as you mentioned, uh, we have the last three years, this, this diamond drilling, we have managed this, the lengthen the main mineralized zone uh, and lengthen and extend it by about three kilometers um, and as well extend it down dip uh, and have shown that the, this main mineralized horizon remains, continues to remain open, a uh, long strike and down dip. Um, and plus we have this new blue sky potential of defining uh, additional separate zones which indicate basically uh, another similar horizon to the south of the west zone and east zone. So we have, we're basically, we're increasing the size of this body, both on the short and long term. And this increase, uh, uh, we believe, has added the, 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 the tonnage and, and the size of this deposit uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a number of fronts. This represents a real buying opportunity, particularly now at the end of the year, um, be, because it has not re, this change has not yet been reflected in the share price. Okay, great point there. So actually, let's expand a little bit on that. When you say the change has not been reflected, so for investors, uh, when can they expect to see that change and why is right now the good time? Because it's Obviously, less yes. expensive, right? that, that basically the when that new forty three one hundred report comes out in mm -hmm. in in this in Q one of two thousand twenty four, uh, this these these value added uh, this this add addition uh, value added bonus will be uh, quantified and verified by independent assessors, and that is when this change will be recorded and and the market will have to have to uh, reflect this and that will be in the Q1 right in the Q1 so so Trevor I have to ask you know what excites you the most uh when when you're out there I mean these these base metals so important uh, especially the platinum group metals um talk a little bit about what gets you excited when you when you see these results when you hear you just you know rattled off some some amazing results I would say uh from the assays that you just received back so if you could maybe just kind um, of tell base, us. basically we're really excited because we we're showing that this 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 main deposit up to 15 kilometers in, in and over six or seven kilometers comes to the surface and represents uh, uh, some real real potential for defining large uh, open pit uh, resources at a grade that is way above other open pits in the world. Uh, so that is the real, that's what gets me excited. And the fact that we have five elements here uh, uh, nickel, copper, cobalt, palladium, and platinum means that uh, there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of diver uh, diversity in, in, in the resource, which gives you a certain degree of security of supply and also security and value. So that's what, that's what I'm excited about. Um, and I, like I, as mentioned, I don't think there's a, a deposit like this in, 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 in North America. Um, at this stage. Or a better time to invest in your company. Trevor Boyd of Canadian North Resources, what a pleasure it was speaking with you today. Thank you so much for joining Stocks to Watch. We hope that we helped inform our investors and we really look forward to updates from your company. Thanks again, Trevor. Thank you very much, Ashley, and uh, best of the holidays to you.